GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Govi, a vernacular edutech brand, skilling everyone everywhere. Hello, welcome to Canada Plus Reviews. This is the review of the latest Netflix series, The Gentleman, created by Guy Ritchie. Now, any fan of Guy Ritchie knows how much he loves his characters. He is one of the few filmmakers with a gift for making even his minor characters memorable, regardless of their screen time. The Gentleman is a spin-off of his 2019 film. starring Matthew McConaughey. Though the series sees Richie involved in a directorial capacity in just the first two episodes, his signature can be seen on all eight episodes. The world of the gentleman or the gangster drama genre for that matter is one in which Richie has proved himself most comfortable. This world doesn't always have to follow the rules of the real world. This is why we hardly see any law enforcement officials. The gangsters in his creations are always bound by the laws they create. Now, along with the 2019 film version of The Gentleman, I regard Richie's two films, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch as my top favorites of his filmography. And as someone who found much to enjoy in his 2008 gangster movie Rock and Roller, I must say that The Gentleman is one of his most entertaining creations. With clever callbacks to the films of Stanley Kubrick, Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola and even Ritchie's own films like Snatch and Rock and Roller, this series shares its core idea with that of The Godfather. Like Michael Corleone, the main character Edward Horniman, played by Theo James, is an army guy born into an aristocratic family and is suddenly forced not only to inherit his family fortune but also a highly profitable underground weed business. Now, Edward happens to be a guy who wants to remain as far away from criminal activities as possible. But he finds himself slowly being pulled into the gangster business when his spoiled younger brother Freddy's actions put Edward in a grave dilemma. The man who didn't want to be a gangster now has to make all kinds of clever maneuvers to right his brother's wrongs. This conflict of someone who didn't want to be a gangster but now is constantly being told that he's good at it makes this series so much fun and when you bring in some of the biggest actors who have made a mark in crime cinema such as Giancarlo Esposito, Ray Winstone or Vinnie Jones you get one of the most immensely entertaining crime capers while the gentleman doesn't quite match up to the 2019 film version or lock stock or snatch uh, in terms of overall quality there's no denying that it's a rewarding experience especially if you savor every episode one at a time instead of binging all in one go. I say this because this is one of those shows that is more interested in individual character moments than fast-paced action. Interestingly, there is a much welcome philosophical side to these characters and their approach to life, particularly those played by Theo James and Vinnie Jones. You can't help but feel inspired by the calm manner in which they solve their problems. Edward Horniman is Michael Corleone without the moral dilemma. In one scene, when he says that something worth having in life is accompanied by an element of danger, I nodded in agreement. And Vinnie Jones, who familiarized himself with audiences through his role Bullet Tooth in Snatch, gets to demonstrate his softer, more friendlier side in The Gentleman. At times, The Gentleman also feels like a James Bond adventure minus the womanizing. Theo James plays Edward Horniman with the swag of 007. This is not a performance-heavy role and I'm not complaining. No matter what trying circumstances he gets thrown into, he always manages to regain his cool. And speaking of Bond films, actress Kaya Scordelario, who plays the series female lead uh, Susie Glass, uh, reminds you of one of those femme fatales you often see in the James Bond films. Her true intentions become clear only in the finale. Susie is a non-nonsense character who can be fun when she needs to be and lethal in situations that demand it. Suffice it to say, she is not a damsel in distress or a typical one-dimensional love interest. Some might find the number of characters, unexpected plot twists and complicated deals overwhelming. But as I said earlier, it is suggested to watch one episode at a time. One of the screenplay's oft-repeated traits is the revelation of a drastic event after jumping forward in time. This not only keeps things interesting, but also adds a slightly comical touch. As in most of Richie's work, we see an abundance of clever wordplay in dialogues that are delivered most graciously, except for that rare occasion where you meet a few eccentric and shady characters who can't be expected to maintain an air of elegance. For this reason, you could say that The Gentleman is a Victorian era period drama in the garb of a gangster adventure. So that's the review of The Gentleman. See you all next time. GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Govi, a vernacular edutech brand, skilling everyone everywhere. <laughs>